What's good y'all, welcome back. Today we're gonna be reacting to The Creepy Stalker by Juan C. Gaming. This is, I'm pretty sure I've reacted to his stuff before, but not as much. So I'm gonna try reacting to some of his stuff more often cause I see, he just posted a new one like a day ago. So I'm pretty sure he's consistent with like his uploads and stuff. Um, So yeah, let's get right into the video. The Creepy Stalker. Where that sound at? Hold up. My head said not even on, hold up. I'm tripping, wait. I'm Restart. The Creepy Stalker. There we go. On Saturday at 11.30 a.m., I invited my friend Sophia to come to my house, just a general hangout. She came to my house at 12.25 and everything was going normal when we was talking in my room. As we were hungry then, we decided to go out so we bought some snacks and walked to the park which is next to the shops. When we about to leave from the park and just walked across the road. Okay, I know it's not me, bro. Y'all gotta hear this shit too. She gotta be black. Cause she reading this shit like a... Not even gotta be black, but she reading it like a black person. Hold up, just listen to the grammar, dog. When we about to leave from the park... When we I about to road, leave... I saw a white car. I thought it was passing by. But the car just slowed down next to me and one guy opened the window. He was almost 35 to 40 year old. This nigga beat the fuck up. Man. He asked me, are you okay? With a perverted grin. Nigga, yeah, I'm straight. He said to me, come here, come here. I want to talk to you. The fuck? And I said no. While looking at the back seat of the car to see if he has anyone with him that will harm us. But luckily, he didn't. The guy said, please, I want to talk to you. While he was licking his fingers and staring at me. What the fuck? <laughs> a nasty hand gesture. I felt very angry and disgusted. Sophia whispered to me, let's go, he's creep. Let's go, he's creep. Why does she talk like that? And went to a different path, which is next to the shops. He followed us and parked next to me again. Then saying, why won't you speak to me? Come Cause on, you're a fucking weirdo. Come, come here, please. Out of anger, I yelled and said, Leave me alone, you weirdo. Then we saw him with a very evil and perverted smile. I grabbed Sophia's arm and ran inside the shop and hiding. I was calling my other friend, Jahim, and told him briefly what's going on. He kept saying, Call the police, but I thought it would be alright. Few more minutes later, we left the shop and walked on the same path as that was the quickest way to go to my home. We thought everything was okay until she turned around and screamed, He's following us! There was the same white car, so scared. My legs were shaking as we ran and while I was running I told Jahim on the phone, He's following us! And then said, She told you motherfuckers to call the cops! It was a small park that no car can park as there was houses around and which was right next to my house. I shouted, Sophia, hide! She hid behind the wall while I was hiding another place. As a result... Bro, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't do it with this grammar, dog. Like, this shit's supposed to be creepy, but the way she's talking makes it sound so fucking stupid. Like, just look at, look at how the character runs behind the fucking, like, hiding spot and listen to what she says. It's the funniest shit ever. Hide. She hid behind the wall while I was hiding another place. While I was hiding another place! I was still following, but couldn't find us. He was roaming around the area. When he disappeared, we went towards the park from a small gate and finally went back to my place. Once we arrived home, I told my family everything that happened and phoned the police, but the police didn't do anything about it. They just said, we will use it as intel and update you, but we can't do anything right now, which made us feel so sad. However, the most scary thing came up next by Sophia, who reminded me suddenly about the incident I've told her a week ago. She said, what if... It is the same guy. I said, what do you mean? Then she said, you know, when you told me about the guy who knocked on your window while you was trying to sleep, my mind froze. It was 3 o'clock a.m. in the morning. 
Luckily, I had curtains so he wouldn't see me. But I never forget the moment looking at the end of the curtain where the window was showing clearly and seeing a guy arm knocking on my window. So homie been stalking I remember you. rubbing my eyes to make sure that I wasn't imaging some demons. But no matter how much I rubbed my eyes, the figure of the mysterious guy arm was still there. From that day on, I just stayed in my room feeling very scared for about two weeks. What if he was the same guy knocking on my window? Yo, homie been stalking you for days. It's fuck. But nah, like, the shit was creepy. Don't get it. Don't, don't get it wrong. It's just like, I feel like when she was talking, she missed like one important word that like made the sentence make sense. Like when she was said I was hiding uh, another spot, she didn't say when I was hiding in another spot. That's what fucked me up. I could have sounded really dumb and it could have sounded perfectly fine. But to me, that shit just made no sense. It made sense, but it just sounded weird. So I had to make fun of it. But um, I feel like this shit wasn't even scary anymore because I was just shitting on it the whole time. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know some more scary shit down in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next video. I love y'all. Peace. I'ma pull up in that new thing, feeling like I'm Bruce Wayne. Yeah, I get more money than your man. So baby, hop up in my new thing, put you on some new things. Hopefully.